I'm James Solkowski. Thanks for joining me for another free art lesson. We're going to talk about clouds. And before we start on the canvas here, I, I want to tell you about some mixtures I made on the palette because I'm going to put in the sky first. This is um, phthalo blue plus white. This is cobalt blue plus white. This is ultramarine blue plus white. This is an ultramarine blue violet. And this is cadmium red light plus white. So we'll be using all of these in the sky and clouds. And they also have titanium white with ivory black, which I'll be using for the clouds. So I, I toned this canvas like a sort of a pinkish terra rosa color because it's nice to have that come through the sky. It gives it more atmosphere. So let's start by putting this phthalo blue and white. We're going to say the light's coming this way. So we start with this blue mixture because this, this uh, lets us know that the sun is over here. There's a progression in the sky, in the blues. So We'll put this in over here, and this will move into cobalt blue about here. See, as we go away from the sun, we're losing yellow. That's the, and the blues, that's what these blues are doing. See, and then as we go further from the sun, we, over here, we'll get into the ultramarine blue. So this is called a sky progression. Every landscape painting <coughs> should have a sky progression. As you know, as we're going towards the sun or away from the sun, and then there's a progression again if if the sun is behind us, but. We're not going to talk about that right now, but but we're concerned with the the sun being over here. And, and as we go down towards the, the horizon, we'll say that pink will come through. So let me just scrub around here and let that pink come through. See like that. There's my cobalt. Okay, let's take a little more ultramarine blue and put it in here. This is all before we get to the cloud. <clears throat> See, if you make it a little stronger there, th this um, will help me to, to see where the light's coming from. It's going to help the clouds. You get a dry brush. Blend that out. Okay. Now we'll go to the clouds. There should be a featured cloud in the painting. <coughs> so that'll be uh the feature cloud will say will be gray. We'll put a. This is not white. This is gray. And you know when I think about clouds, I think about the shapes. We we'll always go back to the basic shapes. Clouds are spherical for the most part. At least this this kind will be. And uh, or egg shaped. So this is the light on the cloud. That would be, you know, fairly high in the sky. So if it's an egg shape, this is a spherical shape. When the light hits this side of the sphere, that's where we'll see the light. See. Mm 
Okay, there we go. That's why it helps also to know where the sun is coming from. Okay, so that's beginning there. Now clouds also have underplanes. So there's a violet here. So we'll, we'll go underneath this cloud, put a shadow. You know, as, as uh, clouds go further away uh, towards the horizon, the shadows are bluer. So I like to use either cerulean blue or thalo blue. You know, that'll be in the, the shadows un under the clouds back here. And as we go along, the, the cloud, the light on these clouds back here will be pink because it's in the pink band of the sky, the horizon. So, you see we're, we're losing the red as we go back. There's red in the violet, there's none in the blue here, see? So these are progressions that are important to think about. And take a big brush to blend with. Okay, now as we keep, keep this idea going, we could take a darker gray. This is just uh, every black and, and white. I don't want this to be too, too dark, but let's say there's a, a cloud overhead in front of the, the, the sun. That would be a gray. The, the clouds right overhead are gray. I mean, if you go outside and you look up at the sky, you'll see how this is gray. And they, they cool off as we go back. That could create more of a dramatic effect. You know, with this cloud, the light on this cloud behind that cloud. If you look at some of the the great Dutch landscape artists like Jacob van Rysdal, he did some great clouds. A good, good, good artist to study. See, so that's coming in there. Now let's look at uh, a pink cloud. Here's my cad red light with white, and that, that would hit right under here, you see. We're, we're th I'm thinking like uh, afternoon light here. Or late morning even would be very similar, see. Early morning would be another palette of color, but uh, so you get a little rhythm in there with some you know a painting can be a cloud painting or 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 if you do a landscape uh, I'd never paint the cloud white if if we're featuring a landscape, but if we're doing a sky painting, then I'd say go right up, right up to white here. And then, you know, we can put a few wispy clouds up there.
important, I think, to uh, enhance that the pattern of the clouds will we'll even get the color richer. I can go back into that sky and uh, put some more cobalt blue. Let's take some fresh cobalt blue right off the palette here and, and get a deeper blue behind that cloud, see. So the shape is a very important. That, that's the main point of this lesson here, is the shape. We're, we're talking color too, but uh, the shape is the key to, the, to getting the cloud, you know, where we want it. Now, here's, here's a cobalt violet. Th this would go over here. Let's say it's uh, the early morning. I could put this as an underplane to a cloud that's in the distance. See, this is cobalt violet, this is ultramarine violet. And so, this is, it just has a little more red in it towards the sun. Those are the underplanes there. Okay, now if I, if I want to get even bolder here, I can. Let's just try that. Take a little more of that ultramarine violet right in here and build that underplane a little darker, make it a little darker there. And then we blend it. See, with this kind of painting, these are concepts of the masters, and uh, they, they're universal concepts for this type of painting, whether we're paint, applying it to a, a cloud or, a, or an apple or a, or a portrait head. You know, these are concepts of form, painting form, light and shadow. In this case, it's a, a, a higher key and just the, just the colors are a little different, that's all. So we got the wind blowing here. And so I hope I gave you some ideas here with just uh, very quickly how to think about painting a cloud. I'm James Solkowski. Please check out my website at jamessolkowski.com.